Do you find yourself constantly overthinking? You know, stuck in that endless loop of what-ifs and should-haves? It's like your mind is a hamster wheel, spinning and spinning but going nowhere. Well, guess what? You're not alone. Overthinking is a common struggle, but it doesn't have to control your life. In this video, we're going to break it down and give you five simple, effective tips to help you stop overthinking in its tracks. You ready to take back your peace of mind? Let's do this! The first step to stop overthinking is to become more mindful. Now what do I mean by mindfulness? It's about being fully present in this moment, right here, right now. Not lost in thoughts about the past, not worrying about the future, just being here. Think of it like this. Your mind is like a busy street corner, with thoughts whizzing by like cars. Mindfulness is like hitting the pause button on that traffic. You're not trying to stop the thoughts altogether. You're just choosing not to get in the car and go for a ride with every single one. How do you practice mindfulness? Start small. Focus on your breath. Notice the sensations in your body. Pay attention to the sights, sounds, and smells around you. The more you practice, the better you'll get at pulling yourself back to the present moment when your mind starts to wander. Ever find yourself agonizing over every little decision? From what to eat for breakfast to whether or not to reply to that email, it can be exhausting. That's where setting time limits comes in. Give yourself a reasonable amount of time to weigh the pros and cons, gather information, and then make a decision. Don't give yourself days when you only need minutes. The key here is to trust your gut. You know that feeling in your stomach when you've made the right call? Tap into that. Remember, overthinking often leads to analysis paralysis. You get so caught up in the details that you never actually take action. So set that timer and go for it. Chapter 3. Don't believe everything you think, challenging negative thoughts. Our minds can be our own worst enemies, right? Overthinking often goes hand in hand with negative thoughts, those self-critical voices that whisper doubts and fears. But here's the thing, you don't have to believe everything you think. When you catch yourself spiraling into negativity, stop and ask yourself these questions. Is this thought really true? Is there another way to look at this situation? What would I say to a friend who was having this thought? Often you'll find that your negative thoughts are based on assumptions, not facts. Challenge them. Replace those negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Remind yourself of your strengths, your accomplishments, and all the good things in your life. 